too. So you want to make sure you can keep them on, you know, track. Now, this child first uh, child interview training, um, how did you end up going to that? Did you volunteer or were you uh, voluntold, as, as they sometimes say? Uh, volunteer. And what was that? So, like I said, our unit's on um, general crimes, but we do kind of specialize. Um, at that time, I had an interest in working child crimes, so any training I could get on the subject I wanted to go to. And uh, as of 2020, October of 2020, um, did you have any um, collateral duties involving crimes against children? In 2020? As of, as of October 2022, were you, were you involved in the investigation of, of crimes against children? Yes, I was. Uh, can you tell us about that? Yep. So at that point, I was a part of the uh, Georgia Bureau of Investigations Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force, which mainly focuses on child exploitation. Um, I also did a large number of uh, child abuse and child molestation cases. In your, in your normal capacity as a detective with the Chatham County Police Department? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so as of October 2022, you investigated uh, child abuse cases. Yes. And had you investigated child deaths? I uh have. -huh. And had you investigated homicides? I uh have. -huh. And had you investigated any child abductions? No. And why is that? They very rarely happen at ever. Now, your current positions, what, what are you doing currently? I'm currently at the counter narcotics team. Okay, what is the It is a joint task force in Chatham. Um, it's a collection of different law enforcement officers from different agencies in the area that's doing narcotics. And how long have you been with uh, the counter narcotics team? About 10 months. You guys call that CNT? We do. Is that why when I asked you at the outset, are you a detective with the Chatham County Police Department? You said no. Yes. Okay, so you're tapped out. Yes. Are you still getting still, Yes. By Chad and Kenny Yes. Okay. Um, are you a task force officer with any other uh, task forces other than the counter archives team? Yes. Can you tell us about that, please? Yes. Uh, beginning last year, I was a task force officer with the Federal Bureau of Investigations Child Crime Unit. And are you still on that task force? I am. How did you get involved in that? Um, so I had expressed my interest in working those kind of crimes, um, and I had worked jointly with the local FBI office on several cases, and I was asked to come over. Now, with that background, I'd like to ask you about October Now, first, when I ask you about, um, about the scene, did you respond to 535 Buck Culture Road on October 5th, 2022? Yes. Okay. I think we, we heard one witness say that you may have been the first detective for CID a president on scene. Is that accurate? No. Okay. Who was there from CID before you? Detective Wilkins and Detective Noble. Okay. About what time of day did, did you arrive? Uh, best of your recollection. I believe it was after 12. Okay. Um, so when you got there, I'd like to ask you some questions to just kind of set the scene. Yep. Um, who was there and what was going on? So by the time I got there, um, both uh, Detective Wilkins and Noble were there. Um, our forensics team had the drone up and they were beginning kind of a grid search with patrol officers. And we had several outside agencies um, coming to assist in the grid search. Outside agencies? Who were there? Yeah, we had a bloodhound, I believe, from Buford or Liberty County out there that was trying to track. Um, we had Marine Patrol from Savannah was out there. Our Marine Patrol unit was out there, and I believe the Sheriff's Office as well. Mountain Patrol, meaning horses? Horses, yes. Uh, all hands on deck. Yes. Did you yourself uh, ever enter the residence during your period of time on scene? Yes. And uh, how did that come about? I asked uh, Sergeant Stewart to kind of give me a layout um, where everyone was staying, what the house looked like, since he was already familiar with it. Okay. And did you go in, where did you go in, and, and what did you look at? I went through the front door into the main living area for the family um, and looked at where Quentin's playpen was. And what did you make of the playpen when you looked at it? Any observations that you remember? Um, it was covered in stains, specifically, you know, a large one on the pillow. Okay. And what did that stain to you appear to be? Vomit. 
and did it smell like Bob 